Hey YouTube, Jason here, and today I want to talk to you about my favorite video game and series of all time. It's not for the NES, which you might think from my background, it's actually for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System, and that game is Ogre Battle, March of the Black Queen. <laughs> Ogre Battle came out on May 15th, 1995 in North America, and it's been a huge part of my life ever since. This real-time strategy RPG was so much different than all the other RPGs I was playing at the time, and that made the game so intriguing. All the options for character placement and how placing them would change their attacks, the different paths to take to level up your characters was so expansive and added replay value, as well as the multiple endings based on your team's reputation. The cover art and the sprites are among the best on this system. Now that we've got some details out of the way, I'd like to show you the rest of my Ogre Battle collection. So here we have the Super Nintendo cartridge. I don't have the box or manual or any of the inserts, uh, it's just way too expensive. I wish I did though. I also have the Super Famicom version, which is nice because I can have it complete in box and don't have to spend the ridiculous amount of money. Atlas later released the game on the PlayStation as a limited edition. There's nothing different about it, it's just the same game on the PlayStation. It does come with some cool stuff inside, like some memory card stickers. Um, I also have a sealed copy of this. This is actually my uh, pride and joy in my collection. I'm so excited to have this sealed. I've got to get a box protector for this so I don't wreck it. I also have the Sega Saturn version of the game. It's Japanese, but uh, it's, it's the same. Next up, I've got the Ogre Battle 64 Complete in Box. I also have this game in the Japanese box, Complete in Box. So next we have Tactics Ogre. It's part of the Ogre Battle series, but it's a tactics game. Um, it's very, very similar to Final Fantasy Tactics. If you're a fan of Final Fantasy Tactics, this is a great one to pick up. It's got the same style sprites, same style worlds. Steam Styles gameplay, but it's got the Ogre Battle characters and sprites, which I've grown to love. I've got the Game Boy Advance version, complete in box. I have the PSP version of Tactics Ogre. I also have the tarot card pack that actually came with a pre-order for the PSP game. Tarot cards in Ogre Battle are used as basically magic spells and they call summons into the world. And this deck of cards is exactly the same as the cards that are in the game. So that's super awesome to have and I love having it in my collection. Tactics Ogre was released in Japan on the Super Famicom but was never released for the Super Nintendo here in North America. Online you can find Repro cards everywhere. You can also find the boxes that go with it so you can kind of have a complete and box version. I picked up this box but I still don't have the cartridge. So there you have it. My favorite video game and series of all time, Ogre Battle. Uh, you've seen my collection. It's not everything in the collection. I, I'm still missing things like Ogre Battle Gaiden for the Neo Geo Pocket. I'm missing uh, the Japanese Super Famicom version of Tactics Ogre. Uh, I don't have the box manual inserts for Ogre Battle for the Super Nintendo. Uh, but I'm getting there and I hope to complete it soon. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason. And this is Bullet Hell. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see some more videos in the future. See ya.